According to research, here are the three signs that somebody is going to cheat. Number one, they have a family history of infidelity. Pretty much all humans' behavior is influenced by genetics. A study of more than 7,000 twins and their siblings found infidelity to be 62% heritable in men and 40% heritable in women. So this is the biological part of it. In addition to this, psychologically speaking, very often we model ourselves after our parents' behavior and most of the time we don't even realize that we're doing it. Let's say you grow up in a household where your parents are constantly arguing. That's what you tend to do in your relationships as well. So when you're getting to know somebody, it's important to know their family because if their mom, their dad, or even their siblings have committed infidelity, they're more likely to do so as well. Number two, they are way out of your league. And I mean overall, not just in terms of looks, money, or intelligence. Throughout evolution, humans evolved to get the best mate they possibly can. So what you tend to find is that if they can do better, they will. With that said, this can play out in one of two ways. The first is when you go for somebody completely out of your league right from the start. That means they're more likely to cheat on you. The second scenario is that at the time your partner chose to be in a relationship with you, you were probably their best option. However, a person's value and how desirable they are can change over time. You or your partner can become more or less valuable as the relationship progresses. When these value discrepancies open up, this is a threat to the relationship. A person of higher value is now more likely to cheat. For example, if a man were to become rich and famous, he is now more likely to cheat on the woman. But if he were to lose his job, he is now of lower value and the woman is more likely to cheat on him. So it's important to not only date in your league, but also stay in your league. Number three, they're not happy in their relationships. And this is especially true when it comes to women. Relationship dissatisfaction predicts female infidelity much better than it predicts male infidelity. And it is evident because women initiate almost 80% of divorce. That means men are more likely to stay in the relationship, even if they're unhappy. But when the women are unhappy, they're out. So again, if you want to reduce your chance of getting cheated on, date somebody who has no family history of infidelity, somebody who's in your league and trying to make him happy.